My name is Richard. I'm the founder and managing di director of a corporate education business called iLearn. Been in business for 19 years and we have operations in Johannesburg, Durban and Cape Town. In fact, in these times, I'm not so sure it's even that impressive to say that you have offices uh, in any location because everything should be going online. The first thing that we had to do was protect ourselves. So the first thing we had to do is I had to get 30 staff to be able to work from home. Um, so that meant the right connectivity, the right resources, the and, and all the conditions around that, a work from home policy, uh, how we were going to uh, communicate the and the platforms needed to do that, which luckily we, we actually had in place already. And, um, and you know, the first, realization I had at the time is when they announced this lockdown was that this is not a dress rehearsal. This is this is this is the show that all the leadership training that I had previously been on and all the learnings that I have been on was all preparation for this very moment of how we were going to lead a team that was completely anxious, was fearful of the, the consequences to the business and, and themselves and all the health risks that come with that. And how do we, and how do I, as the leader of the business, rise above all of that noise to provide a platform of inspiration and motivation to, to elevate them in order to elevate the continuation and, the, and, and ensure the productivity of the business going forward. So I'd say in, the, in, in, in that one or two weeks of the lockdown um, period was, um, you know, was all about uh, communication, was all about leadership and then obviously the practical operational requirements of working from home and achieving consistency. The first thing that I did was set up recurring uh, team and company-wide meetings. So we would where we would ordinarily have a weekly sales meeting, we did that twice a week. Where we ordinarily had an operational meeting, we now did that twice a week. And where we had a management meeting every two weeks, we now did that every week. So we just upped the ante on the channels of communication and the various teams. And then, we, and then um, which has been really, really helpful, is we established a weekly company-wide video conference check-in session where we got every single person they get literally 30 to 45 seconds where they are pre-prepared and they've got a check-in. Um, and the check-in is all about uh, where are they, how they're feeling and what are they looking forward to, that type of thing. So it gives everybody a chance and a view to understand what every person's going through. And we've got a performance coach that, um, that every single one of our staff members meet every single month. So it was those little like tactics that we've managed to uh, traverse the negativity out there and the doom and gloom and to keep people vibrating at a, at a positive level. So I think the message that I want to get across here was that, that my team, without my team, I'm nothing. Without the team, we have no business. And so we really invested in, in our people and their well-being to collectively come together to be able to navigate this roller coaster. The most significant benefit of COVID is that it has become the catalyst for a turbocharge on the adoption of online learning. So where we where we before had to go and explain and educate and do a song and dance to, to customers to explain all the benefits of doing online learning, it's now obvious. And clients are now requesting and are interested and want to know more. And so I think there'll be an enormous uh, take up of online learning.